entertainment world. Liz and Mike from 105 on the Buzz joining us live right now. Good morning. Morning. Morning, guys. Morning. Back to one of my favorite topics, celebrities <laughs> behaving badly. Uh -huh. uh, they're being called out. So first it was the private jets. Now Still it's no water use. Who on the A-list is being a water waster? So many. So apparently there's a severe drought emergency. That's what they're calling it in Southern California. Yeah. Mm. And Kim and Kourtney Kardashian, Kevin Hart, and Sylvester Stallone are kind of leading the pack right now on using entirely too much water. And Kim alone, she exceeded <laughs> her usage by 150%, which is 232,000 gallons of water over oh in a gosh. month. In a month. Stop and think about how many gallon jugs that is. That is insanity. And so they're saying that they've actually sent them notices of exceedance and the water department could install these like low flow things so that he can't get the same water pressure and amount of water. But if that happens, we know Kim will just go and check into a hotel. But still, <laughs> why true. do all the regular people have to follow the rules? And then the Kardashians are like, mm, exactly. I'm have a lush green lawn. And not even just that. I mean, think about farmers. I right. mean, I mean, throughout the West Coast, California, and even into Southern Oregon and Klamath Falls, yeah. you know, there are certain guidelines in place because of those drought conditions. Arizona, and so, Nevada, Colorado. Yeah, we're talking about people all... that may make food yeah. for people. Kim Kardashian, last time I checked, is not mass producing food for nope, people. She's not farming soybeans. And, and uh, she's using more water in a month than, <laughs> than you know a lot of farms can use. I right mean, now. you it's, think about that amount crazy. of water that's more, you could shower constantly for a month and you wouldn't <laughs> use that much. So clearly, this is like the landscaping, the gardening, the right. pools, the water features. Yeah. I mean, why? Why do we? Why? Why? <laughs> I mean, and I'm sure that their allowance includes how big their estates are, but talking about farmers, that's what Sylvester Stallone is actually kind of trying to claim. He and his wife released a statement and said because they have fruit trees on their property that are mature and need water, that's why they used an extra 230,000 gallons of water, hmm. which is very frustrating because I don't think they're feeding the population and with their private fruit trees. I would uh -huh. doubt it, but uh -huh. I have no way to disprove that, but I would, I would doubt it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that I mean, if I were to exceed my uh, water usage by, let's say, 100 gallons, the city of Vancouver would be up in my face so fast <laughs> That I wouldn't even know what to do with myself, not to mention they'd probably be sending bill collectors after me, putting notices on my doors and slowing down my water. Right. That's the thing is that these celebrities, they do it and then it's like, oh, please stop. But this whole time they're also able to easily afford this insane, like yeah. the water bill, pff, okay. Right. You know, well, right? So I was reading up on it and apparently the, the fine that Kim Kardashian has is for $2,400, give or take, which they said is the equivalent to 68 Skims bodysuits. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. This, see this, I don't line know. of uh, shapewear that she has. Right? <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong in this, but this feels way more egregious to me than the private plane. Oh, I agree. I was going to say, if you're going to fly your private plane, you're, you know, you're spending that money. There are plenty of things you can do to offset that carbon. I'm not saying it's right, but you know, whatever, go do it. The water usage, it's so, it just, it's so unnecessary and it's so devastating right now to the yeah. entire Southwest. Right. Like, We're in the on. peak of wildfire season. Like, this is it. Like, yeah. right. we need that. Yeah. 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 That I feels mean, worse to me. You look at Lake Mead, it, it's just, it's, right. it's devastating. I am all for public shaming of, of people <laughs> who are, let's, more celebrities, call them out. Who needs to cut down on their water bill? Say, and we turn talked their about the three, like, all this stuff. actors, actresses, whatever, but Dwayne Wade was Dwayne a picture Wade was that, on that was report so, too. We have also a former basketball <laughs> Don't let him Hall see of Famer. <laughs> Dwayne, saying, we see you. D Wade, we see you. Mm -hmm. We see you, D Wade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> people go over my head. I was like, ah, somebody else. Okay. <laughs> Sports guy. Sports guy. <laughs> yeah, well, make that list public. Make it long. Yeah. I want to see who's who's getting away with all That's their funny. extra water. Wow. Okay, um, so we had this discussion yesterday uh, after Rolling Stone in the UK named Harry Styles the new king of pop, and Michael Jackson fans everywhere were like, absolutely like, not. Nah. Um, now there's a there's another king of another genre weighing in. Yeah, Usher is gladly accepting the title of king of R and B, and Mike and I were having this discussion earlier, like. You know, honestly, we're okay with it. He's had so many hits. And when he was doing the interview, he made sure to shout out the people who came before him and say, like, listen, my career is possible because of this person, this person, and that person. But he's been around for forever and has so many songs when you stop to think about it. 
Yeah, that's a, that's a tough one to argue against. Wait, did, so did he gladly accept this honor, or did he bestow it upon himself? <laughs> well, so he's saying he's accepting it. I don't know if he told himself that he's the one and started the rumor. That's we the don't only... know exactly where the title came yeah, from. Yeah, I'm not saying he didn't earn it, but you can't give yourself your own title. You can't give yourself your own nickname. Like I, so, that's not that's not you can't do that. L let me delve into a little bit of my own personal R and B expertise here and, and shed some light on this thing. The whole versus battles that started during the pandemic, everybody's been clamoring for an Usher versus Chris Brown versus battle to go down for the past few years. And Usher's like, nah, I don't have time for this. It's not even a competition. So Twitter, justly so, crowned him the king of R&B. I mean, Usher has nine number one hits, 18 top 10 singles, over 100 million records sold, yeah. almost 30 years in his career. It, the, there is no competition yeah. there. I, I There's one that. person. So, Self-appointed or not, we we agree. Yeah. He deserves yeah. that Yeah, rain. yeah, yeah. We yeah. would agree. See what we did there. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Thanks, you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, friends. Take and care. And again, you can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz. Well, maybe we should dub ourselves our own. Maybe we're the king and queen of AM Extra. King and queen of uh, morning shows. Of morning sure. shows. Sure. All right. All we'll right. Be right we'll back. be right back.